and talking about the special relationship between our two countries and the great tradition of standing shoulder to shoulder with one another. And I'm reminded of a story from the height of World War II when Britain desperately needed America's help. It wasn't always certain that they would come to our help. And at one point, Harry Hopkins, the emissary to the American President Roosevelt, was sent to Britain. Hopkins said to Churchill, I suppose you wish to know what I'll be saying to President Roosevelt when I return. Well, he said he would be quoting a passage from the Bible. Whither thou goest, I will go. Whither thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God, even to the end. He just asks uh, whether my support, my friendship, is always to be risky strategy. I've worked with President Clinton for some nine months. I have found him throughout someone I could trust, someone I could rely upon, someone that I am proud to call not just a colleague, but a friend. I happen to think that if you look at the American economy, if you look at the respect with which America is held right around the world today, it's a pretty impressive record for anyone. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, do you appreciate Mr. Blair's support? No. <laughs> I think he should have just come over here and jumped all over. <laughs> Thank you.